<laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, hi. Hi there. Uh, yes, well, we're ready to do the flippy pies. I'll uh, speak to my mouth while I'm chewing. Now then, Mrs. Ruth Sowers flippy pies. Ruth Sowers lives across the Susquehanna River, I believe in Snyder County. And she has a very traditional flippy pie recipe, which I'm really glad to share with you today. Now, uh, let's see, this is not going to work out too well with the chewing and the talking at the same time. Hmm. Let me step off camera for a second. Hold on. So much better. All right. Now, two cups sugar. And yes, I'm still using the bowl from the uh, gingerbread. Don't worry about it. It all blends in together. One half cup softened butter. Two eggs. Let's check them out. Ah, oh, that one's good. And another winner. There we go. Now we're going to mix them together. Let me find out where my mixing spoon is. Um, mm, mm. Hold on. Here we go. Now, cream them together. Now, in a separate bowl, She says sift, but you know how I feel about sifting. So we're just going to put in four and a half cups of flour. Two. Three. Four. And about a half. With two teaspoons baking powder, aluminum free of course, one teaspoon salt, she actually calls for one and a half teaspoon salt, but I found it really, really too salty. And let's see, three quarters cup of cocoa. There. And we'll mix these together. Let's see, I'll use the dry one here. There we go. Just to mix together evenly as possible. Now, we're going to add a fat. We're going to add in a bigger bowl than we've got because I don't think, well, we'll see how it works out. Um, we're going to need one cup of milk and then that half cup of water heated up with the soda. Now let me see where I put my liquid measuring cup. I don't see it. I think we'll just use this one instead.
There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the dried ingredients. I'd say maybe put a third of them in, a third of the milk, and we have a half cup of water with the soda and with one teaspoon vanilla. Start mixing things together. Maybe add some of the water now. There we go. All right. More flour. The milk. There we go. The rest of the flour, the rest of the water, and I was a little shy on the milk, so I'm going to add a little bit more milk. Maybe a couple of tablespoons full. It wasn't quite up to the rim. There we go. There we go. You want it to stand up on the cookie sheets, but you don't want it to be too runny. We're going to try that. Now, you need buttered and floured cookie sheets. I'll be right back. For the cookie sheets, this is a traditional cookie sheet metal. Uh, Basically, a flat piece of metal simply bent up on one end to provide a lip. Of course, there's also the modern formed uh, cookie sheet, which has an edge on all four sides. We're going to be using both kinds today. Each one has to be floured and buttered. Let's see. There's some butter. It's going to be tricky to do it without getting flour all over everything. Let's see how that works. Yeah. Very tricky, very easy does it. Now, what we're going to do for the whippy pies is I have, what is this, a one-fourth cup one-fourth cup measuring cup 
You want to drop them onto the sheet, basically making a small lump of batter. In Pennsylvania Dutch, these are called kuka, or cake. That comes from our, uh, from where uh, the word cookie comes from. spread them out because we're not sure exactly how they're going to spread when they start to bake. With the butter in them, they might spread quite a bit. All right, cookie sheet number one. We're going to be able to get three side by side or not. There we go. Again, we're going to have these baked for about 25 minutes. They will be in the oven along with the pies as the pies are continuing to cook. And then when we open up the oven to pull these out, we'll see if the pies are ready to go. These have to cool off completely before we put the uh, filling on them. Moving down to the bottom of the bowl now. Okay, number three. Hmm. Finger test. Good. Very good. We have uh, about 13 minutes left. Um, what we're going to do now is go ahead and get ready for the uh, ginger snaps. So we'll make those and we'll have everything ready for this bake day. So we'll take a few minutes out to um, prepare for that and we'll be back.